Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So just over the last couple of weeks, I've switched over from using my 3.20 PlayStation 5 to a 4.03 system because of some testing that I'm currently doing. One thing that you may notice is, is that I do not have any of the shortcuts to things such as the internet browser set up on this PlayStation 5. Now, in the past, it required all kinds of additional things that you needed to install in order to get that up and running. But I am pleased to say that today that process is made a lot easier by a developer that has created different PKGs that we can go ahead and install on our PlayStation 5 that will provide us with those shortcuts. So let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. So the developer here has released packages that will now unlock a couple of different shortcuts on your PlayStation 5's main menu. So there is a downloads shortcut, which is brand new. There is the internet browser. There is also a game storage viewer and shortcut as well as a PS multi-tools host that has the latest WebKit exploit and then a debugs setting shortcut. So again, by using this, basically that means you don't have to go in and create any of the entries to the database and so forth yourself. These, you just run it and you automatically get that feature. So what I would recommend is to go ahead and to download each one of these and then copy these over to a USB drive and let's switch back over to the PlayStation 5. So back over on the PlayStation 5, inside of your network configuration, the main thing that you're going to need to do is to at least add in this DNS entry highlighted. And once you do that, you will be able to come back to settings and then go back up to user guide and then user guide, user guide again. And we are going to say yes here. And now we will press the L2 button twice. And that gives us a URL redirector. So I am using my host here because this one I know 100% is going to be up and running. And so once you type in this URL, if you want to use my host, it's just crump-youtube.github.io. And then I'll do the R2 button here. And now we'll finally go over to submit and we'll go ahead and let this run. We will be able to install packages. And as you can see right now, there is really nothing but games on this PlayStation 5. I definitely want to get to the web browser a lot easier than how I was doing it just a second ago. But now we have access to debug settings. So I can come back up here to my settings and I'll just scroll down here to debug settings and I will go into game and we'll just hit OK on that. And then we'll go to package installer and there you can see all five of those packages. So let's just go ahead and install all. Okay, so now everything has been installed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our home screen. And once we do, we will see that there is a bunch of brand new icons. So the very first one is the PS5 debug settings. So if we just go ahead and run that one, that takes us right over to the debug settings that we were on just a second ago. So obviously this makes it a little bit nicer because you don't actually have to go over and, you know, navigate through settings and then scroll down to the bottom. You can just get to it a lot quicker. The next one that we have here is the SSD storage game. So I'll just go ahead and click on that one. And this brings you to, again, another shortcut, which goes to the console storage as well as the USB extended storage. And again, the installation location. So again, just another shortcut to make things a little bit easier. The next one that we have right here is called the PS Multi-Tools Host. So let's go ahead and launch that one. And that is going to bring you to another host. If you just want one quick button to press in order to get to a host, you can just do that right there. And then the next one is going to be the internet browser. Now this was really what I wanted and what I was interested in. So if I now press X, 
So as you can see, it already has a couple of favorites in here, but then when you navigate to a different site, you will get this ability to just to go back to it in your history. So if I did want to go to a different URL, I could just come up here and maybe we will just go to Google and then we would hit done and then go. And by the way, you should use the directional pad in order to get through some of these menus a little bit quicker. But that is the web browser and definitely the one that I was super interested in. We have one more to go. And then the last one here brings you to downloads, which basically just shows any active downloads that you might have on your system. Okay, so that is going to do it for this one. I have a bunch of other updates that will be coming along very shortly because as you might have known, we currently have the very first PS5 homebrew application running with Hello World. So I'm going to be diving into that and a bunch of other really cool things. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!